Hey guys, I want to share with you guys my experience with adopting from the OSPCA during the pandemic just because it's going to be a little different from the usual adoption process. Back in October 2020, I adopted a little kitten. His name is Wilfred and he's the sweetest little guy ever. My adoption process was really smooth and I don't think I could have asked for a better match. Just a note, my experience is with the OSPCA, so if you're not in this area, your process might be a little different, but I hope my experience can still be helpful for some of you guys. If you want to share your own adoption story, leave it down below, and I'd love to talk to you guys. To start off, you will have to find your cat. Usually, you'd be able to visit the shelter to meet and play with the cats, but right now, none of the shelters in my area are allowing in-person visits, so I had to browse for animals available for adoption online. Not only was I looking at the OSPCA, but I was also regularly following the Toronto Humane Society, Pet Finder, and a lot of Facebook groups and sites that had cats up for adoption. There's so many sites to look at, so don't limit yourself to only a few sources. I'm only focusing on the OSPCA in this video because that's where I found Wilfred, but I was definitely looking at all the other sites regularly as well. If you are interested in adopting from the OSPCA, I would recommend you to complete the Meet Your Match survey. This survey helps match the animal's personality with the adopter's preference. I think this can help ease a lot of our concerns that we might have with adopting an animal that we've never met before. Just keep in mind that this works a lot better for older animals because they told me that Wilfred was too young for them to determine his personality when I contacted the shelter. Once you've found the cat that you want to adopt, I would email the shelter right away just to voice your interest. In my email, I told them a little bit about myself, what I do for a living, who I live with, what my lifestyle is like, just so that the shelter can gauge whether or not you'd be a good fit for the cat. What I found was that OSPCA is really quick with their emails. They replied to my email within 30 minutes and they set up an interview for the next day at 11am. My interview was through Zoom and it was only about 15 minutes or so. I actually had my mom join just so that we can both see how the cat's like. What I did during the Zoom call was to make sure I asked as many questions as I could. Some of the things I asked were, what was Wilfred's history? What are some diet restrictions? Or if he has any allergies? Does he have health issues? What's his personality like? And I also brought up the fact that we had to be in a car for over three hours. They were really helpful and they answered as much as I could. They didn't have all the information just because he was moved from another shelter to this shelter. So a lot of the questions they couldn't give me an answer, but majority of them they could. After the interview, I was given 24 hours to decide whether or not I wanted to adopt Wilfred. I went to everybody in my family just to get their final okays and once I got that, I told the shelter almost immediately that I wanted to adopt him. I did ask them whether or not there were other people interested in him and they said yes, there were a couple people. So if I were to say no, then I would just go to the next person who emailed them. After I said yes to adopting Wilfred, it was adoption papers time. I just had a bunch of documents that I had to sign and I had to pay the $175 adoption fee through the site. And they also sent me his health record. They told me that he was already microchipped and neutered just because that is part of the process for all kittens at the shelter and that he already had his first round of core vaccine. He didn't have his rabies shots yet because he was too young, but they did do the first round of deworming. So I had to go to the vet to make sure he gets the rest of his shots and deworming done. Because I was really new at this process, they were very helpful in answering all my questions. So I really appreciate that. After signing all the papers, it was time for us to set up a pickup time. This specific shelter that I adopted from is open seven days a week, which made it very easy for me to find a good time to pick him up. Just because I work full time and I live three hours away, so it's kind of difficult for me to go on a weekday. They were flexible with a weekend pickup, so I picked Wilfred up on a Sunday afternoon. For the pickup, I actually vlogged the whole journey, so if you're interested, you can check it out in the link below or I will have it as a card on the screen as well. I drove three hours there and it actually took almost six hours for me to get back just because we took a lot of stops and everything like that. Keep in mind, in the beginning of the car ride, he didn't do really well with our driving, but after an hour or so, he really calmed down and he was fine and he just ended up sleeping in my arms the rest of the ride. It was definitely a full day trip, but I wouldn't have it any other way. 
For post-adoption, I actually called up a vet right away to set up an appointment for an exam and all his other shots that he didn't have just yet. For us, what we did was we had an exam, we did another core vaccine. He couldn't get his rabies shot the first round, but then we set up another vet appointment and he was able to get it a month later just because of his age. We also did a fecal test for worms and he did another round of deworming. Everything was as per recommended by my vet and my vet answered a bunch of questions that I was really confused about. So as a new cat owner, I definitely suggest you to just call up a vet right away just to clear up any misunderstanding and anything like that. I feel like everybody raises their cats differently, so it's much better to just consult your vet to make sure you are doing what you need for your cat. For the last section, I just want to mention two main challenges that I faced with adopting during this time. The first one would have to be that there were not a lot of cats up for adoption in nearby shelters, so I had to be open with adopting from shelters in nearby cities, and that is why I drove 3 hours to pick up Wilfred. The second challenge would have to be that I wasn't able to physically meet him before picking him up, so I wasn't completely sure if he would do well with me and my family. What I did was I made sure to communicate with the shelter and to ask as many questions as I could just to ease some of my concerns. In the end, everything worked out really well because he is the perfect match for me and my family, and I feel like the luckiest person to be his cat mom. I hope this video was helpful for some of you guys who are looking to adopt. I just want to wish you guys the best of luck and thank you for following me on my journey once again. For those of you who are still here, thank you for watching till the end and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!